Our adventure started with Toots driving six hours from Thunder Bay, Canada down to Minneapolis, St. Paul. There he joined Mule and I for a 16-hour drive through Iowa, Nebraska, and western Colorado to Salida, Colorado. The Colorado Trail is a 486-mile long trail that runs from southwest of Denver through the Rocky Mountains to Durango, Colorado. We chose to walk the majority of the East Collegiate portion of the trail that includes the southern half of Segment 11, Segments 12 and 13, and the northern half of Segment 14. We plan to end our hike at Mount Chavano, our first 14er, with an altitude of 14,231 feet. My brother Jim and his wife Nancy hosted us the night before and after our adventure and provided shuttling. Greetings from Colorado. Jeremy with Midwest Backpacker. I'm here with uh, Toots. And I'm here with Chuck. Hi, Chuck. Hello. And uh, we're ready to start an adventure. Yay. It's uh, about 70 miles. We're near Twin Lakes. And we are going to do most of the each East Collegiate Loop uh, Trail. Well, we got to the trailhead, my brother and his wife dropped us off here. They live down in Salida, and uh, there's a prescribed burn here. So there's all sorts of Forest Service and Sheriff's Department people down there, and a helicopter just landed. And uh, we have to walk through a little bit of uh, prescribed burn. So we're hoping it's not too smoky. We got about nine miles to go today till we get to our campsite. Yep. So uh, it's probably... 50 degrees about, not, not too bad. We're still at a pretty low elevation, so it's, an, it's time to stop talking and start walking. All right, we're at uh, the Twin Lakes Reservoir, probably only about a quarter mile in, but uh, nice, beautiful reservoir with the mountains in the back there. We're real excited about this hike. We're hoping the smoke isn't too thick up here, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so, well, how, how far have we walked? Only like probably two two miles, one mile, something like that? Not I'd very far. Probably less than two. We went to Collegiate West, the C, CDT, and the CT. We are going east on the Colorado Trail, and uh, I guess the Continental Divide Trail run across here, right? This is the Continental yeah, Divide. Yeah, so, cool. so the Continental Divide Trail goes all the way from Mexico to Canada. It's like 3,000 miles. Yeah, keeps yeah. going through Canada too. And uh, to just uh, a portion of the trail it shares with the Colorado Trail. So if so. I keep going that way, I'll get to Canada? Right, yeah, well, you're just gonna walk here. home? <laughs> it's closed. All right, we came to the burn site. <laughs> We're gonna be hiking right past it there. You can see uh, some lines there and there's just a worker up here. Uh, watching it so nothing too exciting but it looks like we're going to be 
walking the opposite direction. And the smoke hasn't been too bad yet. But, uh, Toots, uh, describe your first climb up a hill at altitude. Oh, buddy. Oh, wow. We, oh, oh, my lungs and my heart were pounding, even though it was only like a slight grade. And I'll get tired. You stop for a second, you're fine. But yeah, I just I get tired so fast. My lungs are burning right now, and I'm just standing here. So, so, so I was at the doctor a couple weeks before we came, and I was talking to the doctor about altitude sickness and some different things, and she prescribed me some pills. But she also warned me of an official medical term, HAFE. And the official trail name for Jeremy. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you were the hafer so far. Hafe. I'm known to be toots though, I mean. High altitude flatulence explosion. <laughs> and if, if you look in the dictionary, the picture of it next to the definition is right there. So we stopped again and this nine miles is probably gonna take us nine hours today just because we keep on coming across views like behind me here and stopping to take pictures and shoot video but uh you can see the bright yellow and the green and way over in the distance you can kind of see the mountains in the background there All right, so we're about eight and a half miles into our nine point something mile hike. Hopefully you can hear me, it's pretty windy up here, but we just came to this big valley where you can see the huge mountain there. And this is the type of view where you can tell you're not in Minnesota anymore, but just how big the mountains are. And uh, while it's beautiful, we're also reminded that we have to walk up that tomorrow, so. But we're gonna go down by this creek here and camp out tonight, relax and uh, rest a bit. All right, we completed about nine and a half miles of hiking today. We're at Clear Creek. We have set up our campsite. You can see uh, Toots Hammock over here with his uh, rain fly still up. He's got his under quilt on there. Sitting down here having a little snack. A little piece of paradise. The uh, Clear Creek is quite cold. Chuck is down there, looks like he's washing his feet a little bit, doing a little maintenance. Chuck is camped uh, down there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it looks very windy. It looks like a big sail hanging between the trees. <laughs> His hammock. And uh, I got the uh, Blackbird XLC hanging right here. I haven't put my under quilt on or anything. So uh, yeah, it was a good day of hiking. It's a little, uh, altitude's Playing some tricks with uh, Toots here. Sure is. Boy, I'll tell you, I'm not expecting it. I, I was expecting something, but not that ass whooping. Like, I feel like I just did like a CrossFit workout. <laughs> I, I shouldn't be this tired. But, uh, you know, not only is it the altitude, but basically we were hiking through a desert here, coming down the hill, and uh, it's dry, yeah. dusty, combined with the altitude so you know I, I got a prescription for the altitude and uh, decided to share the pure, the pills here with Toots because he looked like he needs them so hopefully that'll help 
Tomorrow we have uh, quite a hike out, it's probably about 12 miles, but it's first five miles are right up the hill or the mountain. So, uh, but that's tomorrow. We're gonna relax now. Telling Toots that hill that we came down, it looks small doesn't now, look that yeah. big now. Should say the mountain. Oh, from when we first saw like the, the valley and then came down. Yeah, I mean looking at it, like my depth perception is all gone because it doesn't look that all so high. Good morning, it's day two. We are leaving Clear Creek and uh, gonna be hiking about 12 miles today. The first four miles, we're gonna be climbing about 2,500 feet. <laughs> so, uh, Toots is feeling a little bit better this morning. Yep, first. Chuck, how are you doing back there? Good. He's doing good. Can't affect Chuck. <laughs> we had a lot of breakfast this morning, so hopefully we don't up Chuck. <laughs> but uh, hey, it's probably warmed up. Oh, in the sun, yeah, it really the got sun. a little wow. warmer. Hey, that's nice and warm. So uh, we're probably going to be stripping down here a little bit as we climb up the mountain. But uh, here we go. All right, we're about halfway up that 2,500 feet. We think we're at about 10,000 feet, but it is just a awesome view up here. You can see across and uh, down there is where we camped last night. Awesome view around. Back behind us here we can see a little little uh, field. And if you look up there's some more mountains back there, but it's a nice day out. It's probably 50 degrees. The sun's out. You know, it's it's a good 20 degrees warmer when you're in the sun. Yeah. So we're not in the sun right now. <laughs> so. Really neat is you get these like desert-like meadows. Like I understand having like a desert on a on a sun side of a hill, but here there's a desert mixed in with an aspen forest, mixed in with a pine forest. Like it's pretty cool. We came to the peak of the trail on Waverly Mountain. It probably took us a good four hours to hike this five miles, but uh, we made it. We, you know, we've taken our time getting acclimated to the altitude. But just when you're at, you think you're at the top of the mountain, you come across a view like this with some mountains behind us that are probably 14,000 feet. So it's a good reminder of why we spent five hours to go up. A mountain right now but we're gonna head down now to probably uh, 10,000 feet and have some lunch okay we got down by the creek where we're gonna eat some lunch I don't have a whole lot to say but I figured uh, I better shoot some video here cuz I mean Wow. We're uh, summiting the next mountain. 
We're probably up at about 11,500 feet. A few hundred more feet to go. Toots is struggling a little bit. We're trying to uh, kind of evaluate if we're if it's still safe for him to keep on hiking, but we got a little bit of time, but it'll be good for everybody to uh, maybe get down a little bit in elevation here. So uh, once we get to the top here, we'll be just under 12,000 feet, and then we go down to where we plan to camp is about 11,000 uh, 11, feet. So it sure is beautiful up here. Looks like we've hit the peak of this next mountain. We should be just under 12,000 feet and Toots was just telling me how, you know, I don't know how anyone could ever get sick or bored with this view. Apologize the sun is in the camera here, but just some peaks way up there and I can just picture that most of these really high peaks are snow covered for the majority of the year. And uh, you know, some, sometimes this time of the year, there'd be snow up here. So we're kind of lucky that there isn't yet, but it'll be coming very soon. All right, I got a hold of my brother. I finally had service on my cell phone. And uh, I told him that we're definitely gonna need him to come get Toots off the trail. Toots is a little resistant, but uh, he's a smart guy and realizes that the other people should probably make that judgment instead of himself. So um, we just don't know yet if we're gonna be able to make it down to the trailhead, which is another eight miles here uh, tonight or uh, tomorrow morning, pick him up. But we're planning on going 18 miles, 18 and a half miles tomorrow, and there's no way Toots can do that. So, um, you know, just get off the trail for a day, rest up, see how you feel. I think some of the other segments aren't quite as high in altitude and uh, carry on. But uh, I had to get out the camera again. It's hard to keep on hiking when you have views like this. Got us recording. So cool. we decided that we're gonna have my brother come pick Toots up tomorrow morning. He's feeling pretty good when he's going down the hills, but yeah. tomorrow's gonna be a butt kicker, and it's better to be safe than sorry. So we're gonna text him, and it's kind of nice. I don't have phone signal, but uh, Toots has an inReach, so the inReach he can pair up with his cell phone, so we can text my brother. So the inReach, where does it work? Uh, though it's satellite, so as long as you can see the sky, which, yep, you see the sky. So, you can send and receive messages. Pretty disappointed I'm going off the trail, but I'm, I'm smart enough to know 
when to put those decisions in someone else's hands. As you guys said, I've been walking like a drunk person, right? <laughs> drunk person and yeah, uh, dry heaves is not a good... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dry heaves are nice. So yeah, I'll spend a day down at uh, your brother's house at like 8,000 feet. And then your brother will drive me back up the next day. Yep. I'll try to get back on the trail with you guys. It'll yeah. all work out. I'm not worried. Yeah, I'm not too worried. You know, a lot of people is told me. Resupply? What's that? Is, it, is that resupply? No. David. My brother is coming to hike with us the day before the resupply. So that will be the day after tomorrow. Good morning, sunshines. It's about 5.20 in the morning. About to get out of my hammock. Light rain. We need to get rolling. Got about seven miles to uh, hike here. First uh, couple miles probably in the dark. Uh, meet my brother about 9 a.m. Just gonna shuttle toots in. Uh, in town for a day take a little bit of a rest from the altitude Chuck and I are gonna keep on hiking up about another 11 miles after that to our next camp spot so it's time to get this show on the road What do you think of the view, Chuck? Oh, it's amazing. It's all worth it. <laughs> all right, we're at the San Isabel National Forest Silver Creek Trailhead. My brother just came through and uh, picked Toots up. Toots is gonna spend the, the day and night in uh, Salida at my brother's house and then hopefully join us on the trail with my brother tomorrow. So. Chuck and I are, are, are filling up our water and now we have a 2,500 foot climb over the next three miles so Chuck is super excited about that. <laughs> All right, this climb is not easy but uh, Chuck here is an animal going up these hills. <laughs> I came up with a trail name for you, Chuck. What's that? Mule. <laughs> pack mule? He said uh, maybe he'll be reincarnated as a pack mule. So uh, I'm going to call you Mule for the rest of this trip. That works. Can I, can I throw my pack on top? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Mule and I are making some pretty good time. Coming down mountain here, switchback after switchback. Uh, but uh, we can see Rainbow Lake over here. And it's uh, kind of a light drizzle all day here, but there's some really fabulous fall colors. So I think we've got about four miles left yeah, of uh, some pretty easy trail. I see someone walking down there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna stop for some lunch once we get down to the highway here, there's a trailhead and uh, 
and finish the rest up after that. All right, we made it to Cottonwood Creek. I have uh, set up my hammock already and Chuck is working on his. Chuck's got a blackbird and a hammock gear Cuban fiber tarp. What do you got for an underquilt on there? Uh, Greylock 3. Greylock 3, and how about a top quilt? Uh, hammock gear Burrow 20. Okay. Yeah. You're, but you're staying warm? Yeah, yeah. First yeah. night was the best night. The first night was a little chilly. Yeah. I think I had a little breeze coming through. But... Yes. Last night was surprising where uh, it was warmer than we thought it was going to be, which was kind of uh, good where uh, probably got down to what, 30? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, forecast when you're up at altitude, uh, you know, it can get down to below 20 this time of year. So we've been kind of fortunate there. I've got uh, 10 degree hammock gear uh, under quilt and a 20 degree hammock gear top quilt on my war bonnet um, XLC with the um, Superfly tarp. So, but uh, it was a long day. We went 18. We went 18 and a half miles. It took us about 10 hours, but we had to uh, wait a little bit for Toots's ride, and. Uh, you know, we, w we went up 2,500 feet, and then we came down 3,000 feet. So there was a lot of terrain in between there. But um, there's a little bit of rain today, but it's pretty beautiful right now. Um, I think I'm going to run down by the creek and wash up a little bit. Uh, the stench is a little overwhelming. So this campsite looks a lot like the Superior Hiking Trail, which is the trail that I frequent the most when you look around the woods here. But if you go look this way, there's something that you don't see everywhere. This is a PSA if you're ever going to backpack with Jeremy or Toots. <sighs> Toots doesn't come from his enthusiasm over trains. So what I recommend, you either go to the gym and do a lot of leg exercises because they hike fast. So you could be in front or you need to get a buff. You need to get some charcoal and put it in the buff and cover your mouth and nose the entire trip because it's extraordinary how much they pass gas. I don't think I properly introduced. That's my brother Jim. This is your opportunity for a speaking part. 
Welcome to the Rockies. So about for the last two miles, we came down this uh, utility road that basically goes up to a cell tower up on top of the mountain up there. And uh, now we're walking down through Frontier Ranch, which is a ranch for the uh, Young Life group, which my brother actually helps run here in Salida. But this camp, uh, he was saying they have 400 to 500 kids come through it per week for 12 weeks. So it's a very popular camp and it's easy to see why with mountains like this. So if you look down here, you can see all sorts of little resorts and cabins hidden in the valley here. And one of them, we're going to go to is the Mount Princeton uh, hot springs. So those hot springs, uh, you can either sit in the river in the hot springs or they have a gigantic pool that is naturally kept, you know, over 100 degrees uh, all year round. So we're gonna have a nice little soak, relax a little bit. Uh, that's where my brother's gonna end his hike and uh, his wife, Nancy, Sounds like might bring us a little food to eat as well. So it's a good day. I'm just, I'm just walking down through the Frontier Ranch and it's quite the, uh, quite the facilities with some large buildings and cabins and gyms and rappelling and Frisbee golf course. I could see why kids would like to come here little coffee shop. This is Nancy, the master of catering and shuttling. <laughs> Trail Angel. Trail Angel. Trail Angel. Oh, magic. Yeah, the parade grounds. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Parade grounds were neat. Hi, Luna girl. It was nice hiking with you today. <laughs> That's all you do. We'll have to do it again sometime. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we just got done with the hot springs. Took a nice hot shower with some shampoo and some soap. And, uh, my brother and his wife, Nancy, brought us some pizza and some beers, so uh, we're feeling pretty good right now. Nice and clean. Thank you, Nancy and Jim. Oh, it was so nice. <laughs> it was so nice. Freak. <laughs> so uh, now, uh, Mule sign us into the trail register, and we're gonna go find a place to camp for tonight. So, day four was a good one. We were all set up camp at Chalk Creek Trailhead, the reason why they call it Chalk Creek is the cliff behind us is beautiful white, almost like chalk, real soft rock. You'll get a better view of that tomorrow uh, when we start climbing the mountain directly across from it. Uh, this is a section that I did hike um, about a year and a half ago uh, for the next 20 miles. Uh, so I'll see some, fam some familiar things, but beautiful campsite. You can see right across the river here, The creek. I'm camped out right on the shore of the creek. So uh, it's very nice. Another guy's uh, right over on the other side of the bridge here. 
So we're gonna have a campfire tonight, relax and enjoy the night. All right, so we were just getting, going to bed, hung up our bear bags and uh, heard a yell from Toots way and Toots's hammock ripped and uh, he fell to the ground and now we're trying to figure out a way to bushcraft, a way for him to sleep on the ground tonight. So let's see what we find here. This is a brand new chameleon hammock that was hung properly and it ripped right above his head. He fell to the ground, which hurt, but luckily below him on the ground is a uh, nice clear soft ground. How do you feel about that, Toots? Well, a mix of feelings, a uh, little bit of disappointment because I was relying on this gear not to fail me. Uh, a little bit of anger because I've spent a lot of money on a hammock. I have made some myself that have not failed. I think I, I, think I could be incorrect. 1.6, It's it was the soft, lightweight fabric. But still, that shouldn't happen. So, here is Toots' bed for the night. <laughs> hey guys. Toots is on the ground. I am, I'm on the ground. If uh, you want to know how to do this, what you do is you take your pack liner, you fill your pack liner with all the pine duff and all that stuff you can get, then you fill your backpack. So my backpack is covering me from my knees down. And then uh, pack liners from the butt up. And underneath uh, the all that is the duff? Yes, the, the pine pine duff that we managed to uh, You got about four inches of that under you. Yeah. Quite a bit. And we lowered his uh, rain fly down a little lower. He should be all set unless there's a bunch of rain. He's kind of on a hill here. So. Yeah. But the forecast looks good, so... So yeah, you know this will this will work out. This is how you do it. This is what guys used to do. They they bring canvas or linen bags out and uh, stuff those, and we call it a browse bed. Um, so that's basically what I did with my pack liner. Is I made a browse bed. All right. Good luck. Good dreams. Hey, it's day five on the Colorado Trail. Chalk Creek campsite was interesting last night with Toots hammock ripping, but uh, we made it through the night, a little bit of rain in the night. Beautiful this morning. You can see the Chalk Mountain there behind me. And uh, we're gonna make a really steep ascent here. Um, Toots started out a little bit in front of the rest of us. I started in front of Mule. It's kind of uh, mules the fastest, so he's still filtering water, and he'll catch up to us. I had a little bit of trouble this morning. One of my hiking poles broke, so uh, I'm trying some duct tape here, and we'll see how long it lasts. All right, I just want to take a minute to get a little serious. I found out about three months ago that I had glaucoma and uh, my right eye is a little jacked up, but uh, I've been taking medicine since then, some eye drops, and it seems like things have gotten better and I should be all right, and hopefully my vision uh, will stay where it's at for a while, but it was kind of a wake-up call to me that, you know, I had all this vacation that I was storing up, and why am I not using it? So it was kind of a wake-up call to carpe diem, Seize the day, go out and enjoy God's creation like I am today. 
before it's too late. So if you're watching YouTube, get out and go for a hike. Yeah, what's up with that? Siri doesn't like my accent or what? It is kind of hard to understand you, eh? Well, come on now. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty darn good. How are you guys doing? Good. So I'm curious, did you uh, walk your bike up the steep part? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> some walks, you know, got to ride some of it, but... You guys are going uphill all the way? Pretty much to the top and then come back down. Oh, cool. Oh. Okay. Where'd you start? Uh, down by the Princeton Hot Springs Road. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's true. So right by, right by that little Yeah, ridge. Chalk Creek, yeah. Yep. You guys just started down there too? Oh, yeah. Well, we started at Tuck Today. Mike. Okay. How far are you going? Uh, hi there. Cha oh, we're going to do Chavano. Chavano and whatever. How's it going? Good. Yeah, and then we got a car parked Beautiful. up there. Beautiful. Yeah. Cool. Weather's really nice. Yeah. All right, so this section of the trail that we're on is also mountain biking and uh, horses. And we just saw our first mountain bikers. And... Uh, Interestingly enough, they just got married this past weekend. They're out on their honeymoon. So, that's pretty darn cool. How are you feeling, Toots? Oh, uphill all the way, buddy. Ooh. Slow going. You know, but uh, at a good pace. Probably a mile an hour. And uh, yeah, you don't have to breathe too, too hard that anything's a struggle. So everything's pretty good. Okay, we're at one of the coolest campsites along the Colorado Trail that we've seen. Um, little Browns Creek down here. And then uh, you can see there's this uh, bushcrafting teepee that somebody set up and a nice fire ring. And the three of us being hammock guys, just there's so many trees around here that are perfect distance for hammocks. End of day five. It was no. a great day of hiking. It was. You know, Go ahead. you know what's really special about today? <laughs> what? Mule came up with your new nickname. <laughs> uh oh. I had nothing to do with it. I uh -oh. am not responsible. I did. Uh oh. Dirty <laughs> knows it. Don't don't keep me uh, in suspense. Almost. Almost. You're totally almost. <laughs> Every time we go up a hill, you're we're almost there. Every time. AT. Hey, I'm just trying to give encouragement and hope. <laughs> uh, it's like the boy that cried wolf. <laughs> <laughs> wolf! <laughs> Nobody up helped help him ever again. So we're at the uh, Mount Chavanaugh trailhead. Camping out here. Uh, Toots is going to be sleeping in my car that's right behind us here tonight. So this hike you've had 
Let's see here. Broken hiking pole. Yep. Broken hammock. Yep. Uh, broken head. Altitude sickness. <laughs> yeah, I got acute mountain sickness. I had to be taken off the mountain for a day. Yep. What else broke? Uh, buckles on my backpack broke off. One of the cinch straps. So he's just bad news. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's all going to turn around tomorrow when it's bright and sunny tomorrow morning though, right? I hope so. Actually, I just discovered that uh, on this trip that my uh, hip belt pouch, the zipper, busted on that too. So, yeah, we've had a few uh, minor incidences here. Actually, the forecast tomorrow morning, uh, rain, lightning, wind, which... Uh, if that happens, we're probably not going to be able to go up on the mountain, but we're hoping that doesn't happen. And uh, we're planning on getting up uh, before daylight, so uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Do you think going up over 14,000 feet in a lightning storm is a bad idea? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Just clarify. You, you know, with the luck that you've been having on this trip, <laughs> I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not going to be I'm going to be 100 feet away from you if we're doing that. <laughs>
What do you think there, Tutti Fruity? This is amazing. This is what I was hoping it would be like. The way that sun comes through the clouds is amazing. Good time to fart! <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was fun. We were up there. Now we're down here. Hit the doors. This is Woo, the buddy. Hey, it was a great hike. Oh, it was so good. 72 miles of Colorado Trail up and down. We were up on that mountain, 14,000 feet. We're, we're gaining like almost 4,000 feet a day going up and down. So it's crazy, but uh, you, you get what you get what you work for. It was awesome up there. Hey, what uh, what you guys like on the hike? We made a new friend here, Mule. Mule, because he goes up hills, one speed. He doesn't stop to uh, breathe like we do. No. <laughs> but uh, they seem to think that I deserved a trail name. Almost. I, I, almost. Almost. Because why? Because you always say, "Hey, I think we're almost at the top." Well, I came sick. up with the formula. Every time he says almost, you just add one hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of this crap. Hey, if you like my videos, watch them here. Subscribe here. Look at Toots' videos right here. We'll see you on the trail. Desperate.